In this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to take our gallery page. Let's go ahead and open that up while I'm talking. We're going to create a tabbed UI jQuery interface on it. And each tab will allow us to access photos, videos, audio, and introduction all through the tabs. It really is a pretty cool system. So let's do this. Let's start by coming up here before I forget and typing in a name. That's controlled by CSS, so we're happy with that. Now, I want the tab jQuery UI, this one right here. I want that inside this content article. So let's grab and select the text and delete it. Of course, that's delete on a Macintosh and backspace on a Windows keyboard. Now, don't click your mouse anywhere. Leave your insertion point where we deleted and then just simply click this button up here. It's pretty cool. Tab 1, 2, and 3 at the moment. Now let's go into tab one and let's name that intro. Tab two, video. Tab three, audio. But we need one more for photographs, don't we? So let's do this. Click up here, right there. Go into here. Now let's change the name to multimedia. Here we have intro, video, and audio. Now, go down to audio, because we want it on the other side of audio, and then click the plus sign right here. Tab 4. Let's name this one Photos. Anytime you want to come back and change that, you can. No big deal. Now, if we look live at it just for a second, it is kind of neat, like I said. They click on these, and it will take them to the other content areas. The content areas can have anything in them that you want. Let's get out of live and look at some of our other options down here. Click it again. Now, besides the fact we can add or subtract any panels that we want, we can make the event a click or a mouse over. I think click probably is smarter here. You can go height style is auto, fill, or contents. In other words, auto is just basically I'll make the boxes vertically a size based on the content that's inside of them. For now, we'll leave that at auto. I don't want to disable the tabs. I don't want a collapsible. You have horizontal or vertical for the tabs. I'll leave it at horizontal. And you have one more area over here that's hide and show. And it says none. Let me at least show you how this works. Go say to shake on both. Now go back to live. Now watch what happens to the content when I go to the next one. It shakes it. I don't know about you, but that's kind of annoying for what we're doing. So let's go out of live. Let's go ahead and click the tab again here, and let's go ahead and turn that off. You could try some of the others, see if you like them. You can, though, get too cute when you're designing websites or just about anything else. You can get too much shake, rattle, and roll and just kind of really turn off everybody. So we now have four areas. Each one can have content in it. Let's go ahead and save what we have. Now, it's going to ask us to save a whole bunch of JavaScripts and some PNG files, all kinds of things it's going to save. You can see it all over here. Now, if you want this to work, you're going to say, OK. OK, that's about it for now. Let's go ahead and close it. In the next lesson, we'll talk about the introduction area.